Welcome into MJT Football. I am Tony Tucker and I am going to be giving you some of my favorite values from every team by division and I'm also going to be adding players that I think you should have that are watch list worthy at the end. We are going to start off in the NFC South and we're headed down to the Big Easy in New Orleans and I want to start with Chris Olave, a 10th round pick. You can get him on your team. He's right there. We've already seen Injury concerns with Michael Thomas, and they're cropping up again in the preseason. Chris Olave is ready to deal. Get him on your team in the 10th round and put him on your bench. Then let's go to old reliable Mark Ingram. Big trust. Whoop whoop. Can't believe I just said that. What was that? But Mark Ingram, maybe some goal line touches. Alvin Kamara is not likely to get a suspension, which is good for my season long prediction, but also. It is good for the New Orleans Saints and marking. As we go on down to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Chris Godwin going in the sixth, going to be a little injured at the beginning of the season, but he is Tom Brady's favorite target, and that makes him somebody that I want to have on my team as a potential wide receiver three if things shake out nicely. Then, Gronk is retired, making big headlines, dropping bombs on his new TV show, which leaves a spot open for, nope, you thought I was going to say Kyle Rudolph, Cameron Bray. Already established a connection. I really like Cameron Bray down there to potentially be a nice little steal onto the Carolina Panthers. They get an upgrade, question mark, at QB with Baker Mayfield there, which means that I love Go DJ, that's my DJ, DJ Moore in the fifth round. He could finish inside the top 10, the top eight. Did I just say that out loud? This guy's an idiot, bro. Here is something that I may regret saying, but it's a new season. He's got a new name and a new QB1, Robbie Anderson. He changed it, he dropped the Y. Now maybe he's gonna be dropping touchdowns in the end zone this season. Robbie Anderson, I'm putting on my watch list. And finally with the Falcons. Last year we denied this man. We said that he couldn't do it. We didn't want to see him do it. It was almost like we hated seeing him do it. Cordero Patterson was really, really good in fantasy last year. And Arthur Smith likes him, which means that I like him. And as your potential RB3, a flex option, I'm going to take a chance on Cordero Patterson in some leagues this year. The player to watch on the Falcons, rookie running back Tyler L. Cheer. Could be the every down back that they're looking for. I don't think that they necessarily have one on the roster, but he could be that guy. So put him on your watch list, maybe even draft him at the end of your draft. That is going to conclude the NFC South. Let's get back to the show. You know what? Like, subscribe, help out my friend Joe Morley. Participate. MJT Football. We love it. Let's go.